Hi kindergartners! Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper snowflake like this one I just made here. Such a fun way to decorate our windows or just practice our cutting and celebrate the winter time. So the first step is to grab a square piece of paper like this one. And you should have gotten these along with your distance material pickup items. There should be a few square pieces of paper already put in your bag. Otherwise, you can go ahead and just cut the end off of a regular rectangle piece of paper to make a square. So everyone can go and grab their square paper right now. Pause the video if you're not ready so you can grab that. Once you have your square paper, we're gonna do this together. The first step is to fold our paper. First, we're gonna fold it into a rectangle. So I'm gonna take the corners, I'm gonna match them each up, match up this corner, and now I'll put my finger on that so it stays, match up the other corner. And then I like to use one hand to hold my corners in place and the other hand to squish it and make a crease on the other side so it's nice and flat. Now we have a rectangle. Next, we need to fold it into a square. So you're gonna take one end and match up the corners again. Use one hand once your corners do match up to hold it down and the other hand to squish it and make a crease on this side so it's nice and flat. Now we should have a square. The last step is to fold it into a triangle. Now, what we want for our triangle is for all of our lines and our creases to all go up to the middle of the snowflake. Let me show you a little more. Can you see all of those lines? We want all of them to lead to the middle. So if I fold my snowflake this way into a triangle, it won't work. I'm gonna check where the middle is. Right here, I'll keep track of it. Here's the middle, here's the middle. I want the middle to be one of my corners. I'll show you how to double check that. Now I'm gonna flatten it into a triangle. Again, I'm gonna make my crease and squish it down. Now, to check that you did it the right way, if I open this up, can you see how all of my lines point to the middle? That's how you know you did it the right way. I'm gonna fold mine back up now. And sometimes I even like to mark the middle. Let me show you. Let me keep track of it. Okay, here's the middle. Here's where the middle is. And again, here's the middle. There it is, right where my finger is. I like to do a little dot there because that's where I'm not going to cut. I made a dot right there. I'm not gonna cut. Parents, you might do this a different way. This is my best way to teach kids so that they don't cut their snowflake uh, into pieces that break apart. So you can mark your snowflake if you want to too. I put a little dot. Now the next step is to cut it. So grab your scissors. Now right across from this dot on the other side, this is going to be the edge of your snowflake. So if I cut this part to be zigzaggy, then the outside edges will be a zigzag. If I cut it to be wavy, I'll have a wavy snowflake. Think about what you want to do for your edge. The last one I did, I did a zigzag pattern. So this time I'll try a wavy one. Now remember when you're cutting, the front of your scissors is not very good at cutting. So you want to open up your scissors nice and wide and use this back part of your scissors for the cutting. So not like this. I'm gonna open them nice and wide and use the back part to do my cutting. Open again, move it forward. Okay, I'll move this part out of the way. Now you should have the edge of your snowflake. Your next job is going to be to cut out shapes on this side and on this side of your snowflake. 
you can cut out triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, any shape that you want. You could cut a candy cane shape to make it look like a heart. So I'm gonna do that next. Let's see, I think I'll cut a triangle out. Now don't cut all the way across. Just cut on each side. And you want to cut chunks out so that they're missing. I want there to be missing parts of my snowflake. How about a little triangle now? Okay, I've cut out shapes on this side. I need to cut on this side now. Remember, I'm not going to cut where that little dot is. I'm gonna cut a candy cane shape. I think I have space for maybe a few more little ones. I'm gonna cut a little teeny triangle out from the top. And how about one more triangle from the bottom? Remember, I'm not gonna cut where that dot is and I'm not gonna cut all the way across. Okay, here's what mine looks like. Remember edge, and then I cut some shapes out on this side and some shapes out on this side. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Be very careful as you open it. <gasps> My candy cane shape is turning into a heart. There's my snowflake. What does yours look like? So cool to see all of them. Now, as you get better and better, you can cut the middle. Let me show you what that would look like. And that's gonna be the center of your snowflake. Maybe I just cut up. But to start, it's nice to not cut that part. If you get better and you want to though, it'll look a little bit like this. Now it made a star in the middle. That's how you make a paper snowflake, everybody. Happy cutting, good luck.